China said Sunday that relations with the United States were on the brink of a new Cold War, fueled in part by tensions over the coronavirus pandemic that has killed nearly 350,000 people worldwide and pitched the global economy into a massive downturn. Here's a summary of the article. China said Sunday that relations with the United States were on the brink of a new Cold War, fueled in part by tensions over the coronavirus pandemic that has killed nearly 350,000 people worldwide and pitched the global economy into a massive downturn. In Britain, Prime Minister Boris Johnson was on Sunday forced to defend his top aide Dominic Cummings, accused of having breached the government's own lockdown rules. It has come to our attention that some political forces in the U.S. are taking China-U.S. relations hostage and pushing our two countries to the brink of a new Cold War, Wang said. While European nations initially among the hardest hit have started to ease lockdowns in a bid to salvage economies and lifestyles, other countries such as Brazil, where deaths have surged, are emerging as new centers of the pandemic. At the same time, churches were reopening in some countries, Spain's Football League announced it would kick off again on June 8, and thousands flocked to beaches in the U.S., where lockdowns and social distancing are issues that have begun to split communities. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa meanwhile said Sunday that a controversial ban on the sale of alcohol would be lifted for home consumption when the country moves into level 3 of a five-tier coronavirus lockdown next month. The New York Times marked the grim U.S. toll on Sunday with a memorial on its front page carrying one-line obituaries for 1,000 victims. This post received a score of 33,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Diversification of supply chain is a good thing. Dependent only one single place to produce your goods and supplies is a terrible idea. It gives them too much power. Once you grow too dependent, as we currently are globally, not just U.S., that manufacturing powerhouse can cripple your businesses if they choose to. Diversification of supply chain allows corporation to negotiate better prices and allow quicker turnaround in case of unseen event where one place shut down for some reasons. China capitalizes on greed to achieve the dominant position in the supply chain. It's not that there are no alternatives, only that the cheapest alternative is most probably in China. Source, I work in manufacturing. I have also spent a good part of my career working for GE dealing with mass production using foreign CMs. My point is more that we seem to rely on a single CM. Of course if we go to Mexico or Vietnam, prices might not be as good as China. We still have part of the total volume going through China, but we eventually moved it to an additional line in Mexico too. When Trump announced the tariff with China, my company quickly moved a lot of our production to Mexico to avoid the tariff. Just that emo companies have grown custom to doing business with China without looking for alternatives. Because the modern business culture is to cut short-term costs as much as possible, completely ignore long-term risks, and blame all the problems on the old guys while seeking promotion outside the company in three to five years. Executives don't want to have to be with a company for a long time, so they cultivate an environment of not having to be with a company for a long time, allowing them the freedom to jump ship whenever they want and follow each other around. They tend to favor marketing and sales people, because product development doesn't tip the scales as much for a big company, but big marketing pushes do. So the product experts are pushed out of the decision-making forums, and sales and marketing people slowly take over the reins of the company, and they are all out of touch because they don't understand what it means to make a good product, or to give customers what they want. So well put. I think every country is looking at the downside of one country being the dominate manufacturing base. Yeep. The UK are now looking into what's being dubbed, Project Defend. Boris Johnson wants self-sufficiency to end reliance on Chinese imports. UK PM Johnson orders for plans to end reliance on Chinese imports. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.